Hello everyone, it's me, Aiden, and I am finally out of hiatus. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, I think we left off at the 150cc Star Cup. I haven't played this game in a while, so I can't promise that my performance will be the best. Ah, Sherbet Land has some of the best music in the game. I like a lot of songs in the game. Uh oh. Wario and Donkey Kong are up ahead, now they're not. I'm not sure when this video. Oh. Uh, is gonna get edited and uploaded but um right now as I'm recording this we're fairly close we're fairly close to Christmas Day huh I honestly didn't really expect to be doing this good Alright. Our first race of the day went really well. Alright. Off to Mushroom City, I guess. Now that I'm done using every default pair, per, I'm gonna mix and match from now on. If you don't know what I am talking about, I meant that I was trying to use every character in the game with their default partner. But now that I've already done that, I'm gonna start mixing and matching. So instead of Mario and Luigi, I'm doing Mario and Peach. Oh darn it. This is what I get when I don't think clearly. Donkey Kong and Wario are actually fairly close ahead. Alright. Oh, wowie. That's a big Bowser shell. And... Donkey Kong and Wario are being slowed down a bit. Let's see if anyone's going to slip on that banana peel. Uh-oh. Wario and Donkey Kong were pretty close. Off to Yoshi Circuit. You know, I just remembered something. 
Yoshi Circuit is the last... That's what I get when I'm not focused. Um, Yoshi Circuit was actually the last retro track in Mario Kart DS. But it was also the f very first DLC track in the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8. And also exists in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Cool. I ran someone with my star. And I did it again and I got a mushroom. So back in like... I think 2015 of uh, the Wii version not the Wii version the Wii U version pin of Mario Kart 8 had two DLC packs and one of them hmm, had Yoshi Circuit in them in total we got four new cups but imagine Fast forward to 2023, we have double that total amount. We got all the courses from Mario Kart 8, all of its retro courses, all of its DLC courses, and more in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is truly the superior version of Mario Kart 8, that is doesn't really have much in similarity with Mario Kart Double Dash. Yoshi and Bowser are actually behind a little bit which actually makes me feel kind of good because for once I'm actually like I really feel like I'm mastering the game some of the Mario Kart games are pretty easy to understand and learn but then there's Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash, I guess, could be really hard to get used to and get good at. But I I've just been playing this game for so many years that my skill just comes naturally. And sometimes it even carries on to other Mario Kart games. Because I've been playing these games for so ye for so many years, Mario Kart Double Dash and the classic Super Monkey Ball games hold a place in my heart, as always. Also, recently, Wave 6 of the Booster Course Pass came out in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and it had DK Mountain in one of the cups. Which is cool. I haven't played much Mario Kart 8 Deluxe either. I'm thinking that I'd try to get um, most of the cups done in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then, um, maybe somewhere in between, if I can't wait for her after I'm done with the other cups. I want to do some videos of me playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe online. Wow. This is actually going really well. I haven't gotten a single blue shell yet. Well, I mean, I haven't got hit by a single blue shell yet. At least I don't think I have.
Alright. That just about wraps up the, um, the Star Cup on 150cc. I hope you had fun watching it. It was fun to record. Now I've got editing to do. And look at that nice gold trophy. Ooh, and I get to put my initials in. Alright, now that that's over, thank you all for watching and bye.